Okay, <clears throat> here's an update. Uh, we have finished framing in the drywall in here. We've got uh, Got everything done up. Got to put the outlets back in. Still got to fix this. I've got the gizmo there to hook all this up, but I found there was other things more important right now. Water heater, nice, clean. A little pan. I got to drill a hole or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But uh, this is a countertop. It's kind of high. I think we could use it for shelves. Could build something on it. I don't know. I know you wanted to put shirts and stuff across, so I didn't want to go to the ceiling. This is where your uh, deep freeze will go. Here's your door. Of course, I don't have the lock set. And there's the, uh, got a little bit of a gap up there. Nothing I can't fix. Uh-huh. Light switches are normal, not movable home. So is the outlet over there. That's a normal outlet. And it will go to that hole right there. And we will shove that over there and away we go. There you go, floor's done. Alright, we're starting on the kitchen now. Um gonna put the butcher block across there and over there but that and that are so out of alignment I'm gonna have to rip the top off I was trying to save it I took the, the the crap that was on there off and checked with a level and that thing goes from the front to the back and there's about three quarters of an inch it is god awful so is this one over here you put something down and it rolls towards the back wall, back wall. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, sassy, sassy. You only habanero sauce. I had to find something that was warm. Anyway, and we got that to fix. Damn bastards. I have an idea for that. So. These are all actually been cleaned, sanitized, wiped down. They look dirty, but they're not. They're clean, ready to paint. I did clean that up there too. Though I do need to clean the walls and so forth. We're not going to do any mud until we're ready to do all the mud at one time. So, anyway, that was an update. Adios.